Okay, so I pulled out the hoop and netting, and <clears throat> hoop and netting is um, looks nice, but it's uh, the netting is pretty chintzy. It's pretty thin material. It really isn't going to provide a whole heck of a lot of protection, except for just little things striking that won't go through the prop. So it's pretty pretty chintzy material. I need some silicone spray. That's one thing I forgot to get is some silicone spray for uh, putting this thing on, uh, forcing this plastic over the titanium bars. But I can put the bars on um, now. These are right here, little spars, and the four hoop pieces. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to put this on here. It bends towards the back, so it would be just like this. Push in the little button. So that'd be one. One goes, hmm, interesting. One has a little tube running through it. I don't know which one, which one goes where. Um, I think it might have something to do with the pole cord, I'm guessing. So it may have to go like this. Oh, okay, so the holes, okay, they have to line up with these little push buttons, so it has to go this way. Whew, that thing's strong. Hoops are in place. I think all the hoops are about the same, pretty much. Looks like there's no little, little buttons. It just slides right into place. Oh. Okay. That's on there pretty tight. If there was a special way. So it looks like it's curved. Wow. Try it the other way. Let's go like this. Like that. Seems a little better. One. Pretty solid. The last thing you pull this and put it in place like that. There's your hoop. Yeah. Not too bad so far for weight. Got the prop that has to go on. These things, this is how amazing these, how light these things are though. Man, it's like. It's like picking up styrofoam. Hmm. Crazy. All right, well, that's done. I'll come back later to put the, the netting on. I'll get some silicon spray over here. So I know that helps. Okay, now that we have the metal hoop pieces on, <clears throat> we can put up the pole cord. 
the board up. And you know, take this around. Take this little pin off, like so. Oops, whoa, Nelly. Stuff it through the hole. Put the end cap on the pin, and there it is. Got the pull cord in place. After that, we've got our netting. We need to put our netting on, and what you need to help this out, this process is silicone spray. Um, need spray it on there. I don't want to spray it in the house, so I sprayed it on a little napkin like this. Pre-sprayed it on there. And you kind of rub it on this thing, on this, the bars, get her nice and slippery, hopefully. Like that. I don't feel like much is on there. Uh, like so. And then, whoops, so oh, that's going to go someplace bad. Once you got that in place, uh, make sure the the netting, the side the netting is on, is towards the seat, not towards the propeller. So you have the holes right in this side rather than this side. So you go this way. Um, the netting on the inside. This, I believe. So, like that. You start at one point. It's supposed to be a little, little dash right here. I see it. Take it. Pop that on. Like so. You slowly push this thing on. Yes. on there. Not too bad. Probably could have used a little more silicone on it. Oh wow, that's really tight. Something like breaking almost. Hopefully it's not. Find it over here. Wow. There it is, it's on. It's like so. So that's the netting hoop is on. Then you take this little cinch device, it seems to be, hmm. 
it's supposed to go around this cord and onto this little peg here. But, if you can see, this cord is too short. Small, you have to be able to pull this cord out farther. Oh, there we go. Crank it out. Oops. That ain't gonna reach. How does that make it there? It's pretty tight already. <laughs> Don't even need it tightened down there. Wow. Why is that not reaching? Not reaching over here either. Okay, so um, just looking at this thing, unfortunately, there isn't enough length of this cord to wrap around this post like some of these guys do. Um, so I will just wrap it right to this little nail end, nail head right here, like. You're supposed to, I guess. Take your foot, hold it down, shove it through. And then you do the same thing on the other side, like so. Uh, I can crack a ratchet even. Use your other foot, hold that down. Run right there, and then you take, use the ratchet action, and start tightening it up. I think it's tight. Take a tar string. Back to the other side. And that's it. It's nice and tight. And then you come up here and pull, actually pull the, the pull cord through. If it dares to come through. There it is. Like that. And there you have it. The motor is almost assembled except for the, um, the propeller. I can't get around how, how light these things are. It just feels like balsa wood or uh, really light. Well, um, so I'll have to put that on next. I think that requires a torque wrench, which I do have. I will have to find it. So that will be the next thing to do. Next, we're going to put the prop on. <clears throat> prop comes in two pieces, it slides together. Paragent name sticks outward. Straight line up the holes. You have six bolts, you have two spacers. Um, the spacer it looks funny like this, it has all the holes going inward. It sits right on there like that. So we'll take it out for now. There's a little rounded edge on here that sticks outward on this flatter one. The sharper part goes inward. You take the bolts, put the lock washer on first, then the flat washer. You run them through like that. And then you run them through here. Like this. Hold it. That's going to be the hard part. There we go, just like that. Okay. One all six. And then you take this thing. Tragic. Looks like that. And you put it on. 
characterize the emollient. Screw in there, trying to cross thread. Feels like I'm cross threading it, threading it already. It's not good. Hmm. I swear that thing's cross threading. <laughs> You have a five millimeter Allen wrench. Let's spin this thing on. Go crosswise. So it's on there. It needs to be uh, torqued to eight newton meters for this. Apparently, there's a little label on here. If you look at the, the manual, it actually says for carbon fiber, ten to twelve newton meters. But I don't know. I think I'm going to use this one instead. This little label it says eight newton meters. A little worried that the carbon fiber is going to get damaged if you crank it down too tight. So, like I said, I'm going to just do a minor tighten on this thing. I'm not going to tighten it down to torque specs. Not yet. Like that. And the prop is on. Um, next thing. What I want to do is to put in, actually should probably check the gap on this spark plug, but put the spark plug in, so if I was to rotate the machine so you can actually see where the spark plug goes in, like so. You have this little plug that they give you. Yeah, uh, you pop it out, and then you take your little spark plug and, oops, so, and you put it right in there, start turning it in, so, Give you a little spark plug wrench here. And again, I'm going to tighten this down just slightly just to get it on there. There's where the, <clears throat> the spark, uh, spark wire is. I'm not going to attach it on there because I don't want to, even though there's no gas in the tank, I don't want to have anybody pulling that cord and starting it up in here. So we'll leave it un, unattached for now. And that's how you get the prop on and the smart plug in.